Welcome to SFX 10. The Fun Boy 3 have just released their first album. Terry Hall spoke to Chris Salowitz. First of all, I should ask you how, how you personally reacted to the attack on the Hall. I still don't know what to say about it because I still can't remember what to say. But I, when Neville phoned me up from the hospital and told me, I was really upset. And I went down to see them, but, and then I saw him on a stretcher with his head fully covered with a bandage. I just didn't, I mean, that's just took in my brain more than the idea of the attack. Seeing him close to death. But I don't know what to say about it. I don't know what motivates the people who've done it. I just can't work it out. When he was attacked, that was when he'd taken the white label and ain't what you've got, ain't what you do. Yeah, the 12 inch to the disco to play. We were coming home on the train and we nicked a bottle of vodka from here <laughs> and everybody was getting drunk and then um, Limbo and Neville decided to go to this club play it, see what it sounded like over a big system and that was the first day that's when we actually got it so we never heard it on a, at a disco so they went up there and put it on and he got a tank. that uh, Jerry Davis didn't get very uptight about what uh, he was been saying in interviews. Yeah. About having written about Limbo. You should read the ones in America and get uptighter. No, it's he, he disputes that, that Limbo wrote the lyrics for Coast Town. Neville. Coast Town. Neville. Yeah. Neville and Limbo and came back with the idea from Jamaica and they felt they deserved the credit on the single, which perhaps they did. I think they did. Well, in fact, Jerry had told me that he'd written the Ghost Town during the last specials tour of England. And I can't really comment on it, because I didn't have anything to do it. I mean, when they were in the studio doing it, I wasn't there half the time. I was too pissed off. So I just let them get on with it. What was that, like a bad time in the special? That was the, the end of it, yeah. I mean, more specials was bad enough because there was confrontations between machines and musicians. People were upset by the use of the rhythm box because they felt that they could play better than the rhythm box or the sitar or any other instrument that was used. And there weren't that many people involved with the more special help. There was only about two people involved in it. Who was that? And Jerry and... Dave, the producer. It's, it's okay, it's fair enough. I quite like more specials. I thought side two was good. I'd like the direction it was going in. But then the direction changed again. A lot of those songs were, like you said, actually done with one person or two people in actually doing them. Especially side two. Especially on songs like I Can't Stand It. And Jerry and Iris went in and did that late one night. And I came in with Rhoda and Sang on it. So did that bring out a lot of tensions? Yeah, because the band wasn't together, and uh, it just made people angry. But I mean, sometimes those tensions make groups play actually better. You know, it did on stage. Of, I thought those stage shows yeah, were really good. Yeah, it did. I mean, that's why it was so good, because we were all angry with each other. I mean, especially on the last few dates we ever did in America. It was, we were actually shouting at each other on stage in, during songs and things. And, it was great, it was just, it was like, that was like the first time we ever played in America, that was the last time. Get it! 